All right, this video is for a game, well, a demo of a game called Frog You. <laughs> Omnidirectional Dashing Platformer. One of the tags is uh, Bullet Hell as well. Very limited in options. This is all you get. As you can see in the top left, corner of the screen, F11 to toggle full screen, so it's full screen or window, and then you got these volume controls here, and that's all we've got. Um, So, yeah, let's get into it, I guess. I got some messages coming in, so I may have to pause every now and again. Okay, so I've got their mouse, but I'm going to ask them to use gamepad. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> Thing we have to do. Well, is this uh, real time or turn base? So, where's the exit? Yeah, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. What happens if I fly into them? Like he might have shot me there. No, he missed. Well, I don't want to get myself stuck in a uh, awkward situation, so. Well, these guys are quite easy to deal with, aren't they?
Well, this isn't that difficult. It's kind of like pretty casual fun at the moment. Uh, as long as you take out the ones that are. Ooh, so he got me. Sneaky bugger. Why didn't that guy shoot? Now they both might shoot. Um, I don't know. Oh, we can't get him from there. Yeah, so it's a bit like a puzzle game, isn't it? Turn base, so you don't need to worry about how long you take for your turn. So that's why I can use a gamepad, otherwise I'd have to flick over to the mouse. Ooh. Right. Well, I can get to here. Snooze, you lose. Damn. Yeah, they got me in there. What the heck? Why can't I? Finally, we can... I should be able to go there. Got a symbol. No, oh, it's a mystery. Yeah, look, see, they're all going to shoot, so. Oh, man, he targeted me as well. I thought he was aiming in a different direction. Taking a bit of damage now. Yeah, there's so many enemies. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get all those. Um, damn it. Well, they're all stuck together. We might have to thin them out a bit. I must have a shotgun. Ah, oh, you can go through them. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, that that kind of opens up new possibilities. So this is going to get more interesting. <sighs> Retribution, land damage, magnet knife, magnet knife. Uh, right, so I guess these are upgrades, I can pick one. Magnet knife, what's that going to do? 
land damage retribution. Maybe we could try that retribution. Sounds interesting. Creates an uh, area damage if the head is taken. Yeah. Wait, what'd they say? <laughs> well, I need first aid. Where do you get that from? Yeah, I think <laughs> this would definitely be easier with a mouse. Maybe I should click over just to try and uh, speed things up a little bit. So, right, these three are going to shoot. Now, if you're a certain distance away, you can get away with it. But try going there. And he's going to shoot. Well, they're going to shoot as well. Right. I might have to go either there or there. See, because I'm a certain distance, that bullet isn't going to touch me. So now I can move. This guy looks to be floating around. Okay, now they're going to shoot. I don't know why I'm flashing. Got, what's this slow? What does that mean? Okay. So I could slow down time even more than what it is. But for how long? Well, it's run out. Now I've got to wait for the refresh probably. Oh, I can't get it from there. Okay, now he's got a shot ready. Okay, now, see, I'm going to go through him. I can't target him. So I can go through him. And then, go there. Go. Ooh, so I actually move quite a bit faster than the bullet. Yeah, so it looks like maybe I might have stuffed up. This one. Unless we can heal, but I don't know how to do that. So we've got a jump button, which is what I've been using, but then we've got a throw button. I haven't tried that yet. I guess you... Oh, what happened then? What happened then? I guess I died. Perhaps, are we restarting? I don't know what's going on. Oh, so I can throw. So I've got a knife. That can come in handy. Penguin Clan's Lair. Okay. I wonder if I'm far enough away to dodge the spike bullet. If I throw the knife at him, then I move out of the way. Oh, so the knife... Have I got another knife? No. So now I've got to collect my knife. 
to be able to throw it again. So I threw the knife. You see, there's no targeting in there for a jump, but you could throw. So let me, I've thrown it, and now let's go around this way. And now we go back up. So he's fired another shot. I wonder if I can get... If I can throw the knife with the bullet that close to me. Okay. And then... Right. Yeah. But now he's going to fire again. Hey. Do I have to have the knife in my hand? Looks like I might have to have the knife in my hand to actually kill them. Uh, let's try slowing down time. That's funny. I slowed down time and it's like the knife boomerang. Well, I mean, it's, it's quite, quite a cool game, really. It's a bit more advanced than I originally thought. It starts off quite casual, but then you have to be, be quite smart about how you're going to deal with them. Yeah, so you gotta decide if you wanna throw the knife. So if you throw the knife, you gotta go and get it again. So if you kill the last bird by throwing, the knife goes back to you automatically. That's pretty cool. So yeah, the final bird we can just throw the knife. Um, yeah. Uh, Oh, mate. Okay. Uh, might slow down time. Oh, I see. Oh, something hit me. I don't know what.
<laughs> yeah, let's try that. See if the knife will go through. Ah, it didn't. Oh well. Well, I've got to click the knife now. And it's like we've got the knife back. Uh, right, that's going to be a bit tricky. Unless I kill one, go over to here, and then come back in. Get my knife back, and then we'll go through them. And the door's right there, but we can't. There you go. Yeah, this is actually quite fun, actually. Quite like this. But you can play it at your own pace. And you gotta think. And, and it is challenging. You start off thinking this is like really simple, but it's not quite. It's a good shot, but... Ooh, he's seeing fire the shotgun, eh? Um, I might be right if I go there. Gotta get my knife back. Man, they are not letting up. I don't think I can get my knife. Moment. Still can't get my knife. Damn it. Um, I have to be smart about that. Okay, let's slow down time. Get my knife. We can take out some of these enemies. Jump range up. Magnet knife. See, what did that magnet knife do? Increase the area of knife recovery. Alright, so potentially I don't have to actually touch the knife. If I just get near it, it'll just uh, go to me like a Jedi with a saber. You know? <laughs> uh, what else? Jump range up, increase the max distance of your jump. That sounds pretty cool, but then I don't know if it's... Yeah, that, that would be quite helpful, actually. And we've got heal, which is also good, but we're doing all right at the moment for health. So I'm going to take the jump up. Hopefully that'll give us a bit more flexibility. This guy with his yellow. What's that all about? Maybe I'll throw a knife at him. Ooh, the knife hit the force field. Okay. But now he's got no force field. Alright, so can I bust through him? Yeah. Okay, now, 
I don't know whether I can get out of here unless I slow down time. I mean, that bullet is right. <laughs> it's basically touching my nose. Definitely a nice upgrade. Ah, so you go for What happens if I try and jump through the force field? Okay, so that didn't quite work. So it looks like you have to throw the knife to burst the bubble, so to speak. work I can try it but I've got a feeling I might get hit so I think I'll go here. We'll get him another day. Um then we'll go around. Yeah he's gonna shoot again though. But he's got no force field. Oh wow. Uh, Slow down time. Yeah. Oh well. It was worth a try. I think I got hit again. Make sure I... We might have to get a heal when we can. Risk it. Wow. They're really going for me, aren't they? Um, he's going to shoot. Situation. Oh, that works. I gotta get my knife back.
Oh, yeah, that was a lucky shot. Oh, so I thought the magnet might help me uh, get my knife there, but no. Uh, am I going to get my knife? Yeah, bit of a tricky situation. Well, that works. Uh. Now we need the heal. Shooting at me. through that way. <laughs> yeah, oh well it might work. Do a two and one, but then this guy here is probably shoot me. All right. Ah, oh, there's no heal. Knife plus one. I wonder if that means oh piercing knife. I don't know, let's have a look. Knife passes through enemy and hand shield. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Add one knife to your oh, so you can fight two knives instead of one. Creates an area of damage if the hit is taken. Um, do I want two knives or do I want a piercing knife? I would like both, but I can't have both. So. different looking enemy down there. I think I should throw the knife at it.
see what happens. <laughs> Ooh. He explodes. He got a force field, eh? Right oh, there, I'm sorry. Wow, the knife just went straight through. Ah, a lot of force fields. I guess it was a good idea to upgrade the piercing. What if we could like throw the knife through all three of those? Ah, uh, so hit, hit that in there. And then I have to go down and then... Knife back. Damn, he's gonna fire again. That's quick bloody shooting. Whoa. Okay, they're getting a bit too. Damn. Alright, let's grab our knife. Oh, look at that, we got three hit combo, plus it might kill him too, I don't know. Yeah, it did. But look at this guy. Oh, nasty, mate. I think he's got me. I don't think I can dodge that. There's nothing I can do. So now what? Floor one. Okay. So it's restarting. Um. Yeah, I don't think I need to go again, I don't think. I mean... Like, we kind of know... What's going to... Now what's going on? So I guess it's giving me an option here to uh, start a new run with an upgrade, but yeah, it doesn't, oh here we go, title screen, right, yeah well that's the original <laughs> size of the game and then you can make a full screen so yeah that's uh, froggy it, surprisingly um, 
you know, it's, uh, it was quite a fun, fun little game. Um, started off very casual, but uh, then it, it, it actually does get quite interesting. You have to start using uh, strategy and tactics and, and that. The upgrades are pretty cool. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm quite impressed actually, quite impressed with it. So, yeah, if you want to give it a go, the demo is on the uh, Steam Store page. I think it's quite a cool little puzzle game. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.